Hello, my name is Morty Bacar from Lexite Pottery. Today I'm going to show you how to insert metal in a broken ceramic where the cross section is too narrow for the epoxy to be efficient. Uh, we insert pins or pegs for proper mechanical integrity. In this case, the first step is to mark the proper alignment with a marker so when I place it later I know how to orient it. We use a um, diamond disc. This is a Dremel. This is a softer clay, so we don't have to cut it under water. When uh, we cut in porcelain or stoneware, it's more stubborn. We need to run it under water. And when you cut that part, notice I paid attention to where the dot is, so I can cut it in the proper orientation. Here is a slot. Um, we use aluminum, flat metal, easier to cut and implement. You need to be cut to proper fit, width and depth. You do a lot of dry runs to make sure that it works well and it fits properly. Here it is. Here's a dry run. Notice the two dots, how they're lined. It's important that you cut it with that orientation in mind. Um, two parts epoxy, we use five minutes epoxy. Uh, this one is made by PC Clear, it's more available. We use different epoxies for other, for other reasons, but this one is more commercially available. After it's cured, a couple of hours would be sufficient. It's ready to be applied on the stem. You mix the epoxy again. Apply it on all surfaces. Just remember that once you place it, don't wipe the epoxy. Let it cure whatever it's placed to remove access. Later we use a razor blade. It's not shown here. Sorry, I forgot to show that. And here it is. Uh, once it's placed, you put it, uh, we use uh, resin pebbles or pallets so we can use gravity for our advantage so it sits perfectly. Here's another example where the stem was already epoxied uh, and we cut the slot for the peg up to the epoxy is cured for at least 24 hours. Make sure you wear eye protection glasses, would be great. Clear the dust with a compressor air. Wipe it with alcohol as well, I forgot to show that here. Uh, we use this uh, metal, it's nickel, it's uh, more rigid and stronger than other metals. You do a dry run to make sure it fits properly across the, across the break. And then use the epoxy again. Make sure that the epoxy goes all the way to the bottom of the slot. Uh, this is a filler. After the epoxy is cured and cleared, um, you apply it. We applied more than what's shown here. We applied all around the stem where the brick cross section is. Um, this needs to be cured for overnight, so it would be sendable. Again, here too, I'm just showing where the slot is, but uh, the end project it was the PC epoxy was applied all the way around. Here is another example where the mushroom is bigger. Easier to see the work. Eye protection, crucially important here. Those pieces can fly into your eye if you don't have them. Cut it to fit. Do some dry runs. Soon I'll pit. You, you see how it's not, it doesn't fit perfectly, so I'll use a piece of wood uh, later on to make sure that the peg 
is um, lined up in the center, so it would match the other side. If it leans against the wall of the cart, uh, the fit would not be correct. Here is a piece of wood I was talking about. Um, Apply epoxy on all surfaces. Again, make sure you don't wipe it off. Just let it cure where, where, it, where it, it is. Even when it drips, don't wipe it off. I was lucky. I don't need the pebbles. Here's a PC epoxy filler again. It's PC 11, PC epoxy. And I'm, I'm sending it. Um, we start with uh, 200 grit, then I go to 400 grit for finer surfaces, which would be sufficient for paint preparation. This is a liquid latex. It's being applied on surfaces where I don't want the airbrush spray paint to cover. Uh, so I'm protecting the areas where I don't want the paint to go on. Great product. Make sure that it's thick enough. It would be easier to remove when the application is thicker. You'll see later. Matching colors. It looks easy here. It, it requires some practice because the color changed slightly after it dries. And it changes again after you apply glaze. So read our tutorials about painting on our website. The uh, airbrush spray paint, the paint need to be more liquid than brush painting. I'm adjusting the uh, the spray nozzle to be the right the right pressure, the right width. In this case, I'm adjusting it to be really narrow because I need to be more precise with my uh, aim where the paint goes. It takes a little bit longer. Notice that this is the base color, it's not the final color. There would be more hand painting later to create the effect that brownish, orangish color would be uh, painted later. Removing the latex. See, if it wasn't that thick, it would tear apart. It won't pull all together like I'm doing it now. It would be more torture to, move, to remove. So again, latex needs to be applied thick and let it dry for at least a couple of hours. You can see the base paint. Uh, here's my dear wife, Patty. She's painting the details. Uh, this is an organic glaze. Uh, it requires a lot of tedious color matching. And the final step after the paint is cured for overnight, uh, it's clear glaze, it's applied. Make sure you have ventilated room and wear respirator. As shown, that is important. And here it is, all done, ready to be shipped. There are many more tutorials on our website for pottery sculpting and restoration. Visit our website if you want to see many more. Thank you for watching.